Hello everyone, this is Roman and I want to show you today one nice plugin I make. This is called Magic Pivot. With this plugin you can animate the pivot in Cinema 4D very easy. For example, I have here the cube you can see. And now as you can see by default the pivot is the center. And let's say I want to be here so when I can animate and I make a nice roll animation for this cube. Uh, okay, I know you can make a null and after that, uh, for example, I make a null, I can place here, I can drag uh, like a child and after that I can rotate and like this and I animate this null and I make another null here and another null here and this takes too much time for me so I make this plugin to make the life easy so I remove everything and I'm going to show you my plugin now so before I start uh, this plugin I want to first to install my menu so it's very easy just you find one icon you like here for example let's say this red icon right click customize palettes and now write uh, the name magic uh, pivot and now you can see I have only two plugins here magic pivot so I drag like this and if you like maybe you like here or here if you like just I prefer here and done also we need the magic pivot key now I make a new cube I make a new magic pivot I go to the snappy tool, I enable it, enable the 3D snapping and the point snapping and now I go to the move tools, I uh, move my this uh, magic people where I like, so I like here and when I done I go to my magic people here and I drag the cube and now I click key, ok let's go to this view and now let's make a animation, let's go to the 10 frame here and I make a rotation and then a key and now see what happened you can see this is here is for uh, make people this cube okay now uh, I want to show you very nice okay you say okay this you can do also with the similar for the constraints okay I know uh, but see what happened now if I go to 11 uh, frame and I click this axis this is the axis tool so you can move the people for the object but in this case I have object already so this is space also is pivot so I can move this object like here and when I done I click this here uh, icon for the magic pivot key and now I change the pivot and now I can go to the 20 frame and I can rotate and see now what happened uh, one only object I make this animation and I can continue. Okay, let's go again to the 21 axe tool, move my pivot. I click this icon, I go to 30, rotation, and I do it like this. And I do the same 31 uh, move tools, uh, axis here. I move my pivot, I click the icon here, I go to the 14, and I rotate again. Okay. Okay, I stop here and let's see what we get. And we have this very nice roll. The nice thing also, if I move my timeline or oh, I jump like this, the, the people stay and animation is very nice. So I have space switching. So no problem, we no make jump or no something problems. You can see stay very nice. Also, you can see this is very small here. Uh, spline so you can see this is the people for the magic so you know uh, what you do okay also you can change if you, or you can change if you like for example color may white for example if you like a uh, red and uh, no red is no uh, maybe yellow is good okay you can see here I change my people so I can see where is my people now okay uh, now let's make another cube uh, let's Play something like this, and let's say I want this cube to change the pivot and follow this cube now. Uh, this is very easy to do. Just you click the magic pivot, and you go, for example, is 41, and you go to the magic pivot here, the object, and just you drag the second cube here, and you click the key button. Every time you change the link, you need to click this button here so it's fine automatic ways and make some calculation and find a, a, a chase very nice with no problems okay now see what happened when I play I play okay now it changed my pivot I see what when I move you see I move this cube now 
So let's make an animation. Okay, before this, uh, let's change also the pivot uh, axis like before, axis two, and I go for example here, and I click this icon, and now I can animate without problem. Okay, match pivot here, and I do it like before. Uh, just I use now this uh, simple animation. You can do also more complex animation. Uh, this is uh, only for this exam to understand how it's working the plugin. Okay, and now see what happened. See, this is my pivot, and now I have this object. I have first the cube one, and now I have the cube two. Very easy, and all this only animate this object. And uh, let's go further. Let's make another cube. Let's move here, for example. Let's uh, okay, let's right. Uh, let's make something like here, for example. And let's say I go now also the magic people go to this object. Like before, we done a uh, 61 frame. We go okay. Um, I take the cube two key, and now I can move my free cube. Okay, and let's go to the here for example. I just move uh, like here for example. Okay, and now see what happened. I have move all these three cubes with one only object. And the nice thing, like I say, if I make a you see, I move my keyframes, it's not have problem. It's I can move my key my frame timeline, no problem. Okay, uh, so now you understand how it's working the plugin. Uh, I want to show you one other exam. Okay, let's remove everything. Let me make a hammer here. Okay, let's go maybe close so you can see. Uh, I have this hammer. Okay, I'm making you match people. Uh, okay, now you can see my people is uh, here. I want so I drag my people. I make a okay, go to zero keyframe and now I go to 20. I make an image so the hammer is uh, down. Okay. I go to the 21. Just I want to change my pivot, axis 2. I go, for example, uh, I want to be, I don't know, something like here. I click the icon. And now I don't know, I do something else. Maybe I move this hammer. Okay, let's off the snapping. I move the, sub, uh, the hammer like this. For example, I go to the uh, 41, I change again my axis, I go here. Just I make some crazy here stuff. I know it's, it's not make sense, but just to understand how you can change the pivot uh, in the other object. And now you see everything I done is working. So first here the pivot, second is here, now again is here. Uh, this is very powerful plugin because you can animate very easy the pivot, you can make very nice uh, animation uh, very easy. Uh, something last before I close this uh, uh, tutorial, uh, I need to go to timeline. So I want to show you some stuff. If I go here in Magic People, you can see here I have these tracks. Uh, these tracks uh, do not touch these tracks uh, because you're destroying all this nice uh, uh, calculation with the people. If you want to move keyframes, you need to keep everything. For example, I want to move all these frames. I move, for example, here. Just you see now to slow down my animation or I need also to grab these keys and something last if I go to my hammer you can see here I have uh, one keyframe also do don't delete this keyframe because you uh, <coughs> the, uh, you do throwing this nice uh, calculation the stuff or do this uh, plugin so yes this is my new plugin uh, I hope you like this new plugin I find useful you can download from my site nitro4d.com it's free and more plugins coming soon. Thank you for watching.